Hi there, I'm glad you're here. So this time we're going to read 10 rules of the birthday wish. Just so you know, my birthday's coming up. So we're going to do some birthday books. 10 rules of the birthday wish. Balloons are highly recommended. Inflation by pachyderm is optional. There are, there most definitely are, 10 very specific, tried and true, and absolutely essential rules for the making of a birthday wish. In case of any confusion about the number of rules, place hands here. This many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rule number one, it must be your birthday or close to your birthday. Sometime in the last or next week, your age should have increased by one, unless you are a beetle, bug, or insect. <laughs> if your life cycle is a month or a week or sniff, sniff, only a single day, please celebrate immediately. ASAP, flutter, flap, Fly right on over to rule number two. Happy birthday. Pin the stinger on the human. No fair. She has compound eyes. <laughs> Happy one day. Rule number two. You must have a party. A celebration, hoopla, or jamboree. There should be games and laughter and definitely hats. Hats immediately elevate the party mood. Food is also a good idea. See rule number three. As are streamers, confetti, and balloons. Unless you are a rhinoceros. Pop! Oopsie. If you are a rhinoceros, a swordfish, a sea urchin, or pointy in any way, you may want to skip the balloons. Pop! Sorry. Pop! My bad. Rule number three, you must have cake or cannoli or cream puffs or churros. Your dessert does not specifically have to start with the letter C, even if some of the best desserts do. The letter could be P or B or even I. Whatever letter your dessert starts with, it must be sturdy enough to accommodate rule number four. Rule number four, you must have a light or lights to blow out. Traditionally, this would be a candle, but it could also be a sparkler, unless you are a whale or frog. If you are a whale, you might want to invite some fluorescent jellyfish to your party. If you are a frog, consider using fireflies as your candles and your dessert. Combining rules is completely acceptable. Either way, something light must go dark. Mm. Rule number five, there must be singing. Traditionally, the happy birthday song sung happily and loudly and definitely off key. Unless your friends are feathered. If you're lucky enough to have friends who can warble, croon, and carry a tune, sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> Rule number six, you must close your eyes. Closing your eyes keeps your wish safe inside your head where it can grow from something ordinary into something extraordinary. Rule number seven, you must take a deep breath. This will ensure the success of rule number nine, unless you are a puffer fish. If you are a puffer fish, definitely do not take a deep breath, because then you will puff up and all your guests will be concerned. Everyone knows a puffed up puffer fish is not a happy puffer fish, and happy is a big part of birthday. Rule number eight, 
You must make a wish. Oh, this is a big one. You must make a wish. Just one wish. A single, wonderful, amazing wish. It can be a big wish or a little wish. It can be a now wish or a later wish. But it should definitely be a can't think of anything greater wish. Rule number nine. You must blow off the candles in one single breath. Unless you are a camel. If you are a camel, you will most likely spit on the cake as you are blowing out the candles. No one wants to eat cake spritzed with camel spit. So please, ask your friends to help. Combining breaths is completely acceptable. Moose are notoriously bad at following directions. See, he's up here blowing bubbles. <laughs> Rule number 10. Ah, don't forget that wish ends in shh. So keep your wish quiet, silent, hush, hush. And when the fun is done and your friends have left, and the moon is high in the sky. Close your eyes and dream. Of your wish coming true. And that was called 10 Rules of the Birthday Wish. I hope you enjoyed that and that you subscribe, come back often, and we'll see you next time on Stories with Grandma.